so to begin taking down your twists um, you need to use your oils put a little bit of oil in your hand and then rub it down on your fingertips um, the oil is a very important step so what you want to do is start at the very bottom of the twist and then unravel in the opposite direction that you twisted your hair in when separating the twist, you want to be sure to break away parts that naturally separate by themselves. Um, you don't want to disrupt any portions of the hair that don't separate naturally because it'll make it super frizzy. While separating the twist, I give each section a twirl around my fingers um, and that's just to maintain the curl and make sure that it doesn't get super frizzy. Um, I don't mind some frizz, but I don't like a whole bunch of frizz and so I'm just going to give it a twirl like so. And so you'll just continue this process throughout the remainder of the hair. Um, be very patient, especially when you're separating sections. It's okay if one section is bigger and it doesn't separate as easily um, because it's going to all fill out. As you can see, I finished one side of my hair already. Um, it's a process. Take your time, especially when separating sections. If your hands become dry, please apply more oil to your fingertips. You don't want to manipulate your hair with dry hands. Um, it can cause extra frizz and um, also strip moisture from your hair. And this is just another example of how to separate those twists. Um, just separate only sections that naturally come apart by themselves. Um, if one section is bigger than another section, again, it's okay. It's going to all fill out on its own. When you're done separating your twists, just take your fingers and give your scalp um, like a little comb through, a little fluffing. Um, this is why I don't recommend straight parts because when you just pull the hair apart by yourself with your fingers, it's easier to get rid of those um, defined sections and it'll come together and fluff out more naturally on its own versus when you do those defined parts. Now we're going to go through and lay down our grown woman hairs. Um, I love this Easy Edges edge control. Um, it's something I just started using maybe a couple weeks ago, but it lasts all day, um, especially while I'm at work. I don't have to reapply it. It doesn't flake. It doesn't turn white. Um, it just really works for me. And just a little tidbit, my little two cents, um, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I don't like using combs. I'm not a fan of combs. I use my fingers as much as I can in the detangling process and the twisting process. Um, I feel like when you use your fingers, you can feel the resistance more. You know how hard you're pulling on your hair and your hair is probably less prone to breakage and damage when you're using your fingers versus a comb. Now that our edges are laid, this twist out is flourishing. Um, the twists are defined. It's not super frizzy. Um, so I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed the video.